Pluto and Charon were the first double dwarf planet combo discovered in our solar system. For decades, Pluto remained, more or less, a point of light. But in the mid-70s, Dale Cruikshank and colleagues attached cameras with infrared filters to a telescope at Kitt Peak. Detectors or sensors had been improved and larger telescopes had become available. Well, we did that work in 1976 and found evidence for frozen methane on Pluto's surface. It was several years later that we found the evidence for the other ices. In 1978, astronomers Jim Christie and Bob Harrington analyzed new plates taken at the U.S. Naval Observatory in Flagstaff. Christie noted an elongation to the north of Pluto. One month later, the bump had disappeared. From this and other evidence, they concluded that Pluto, like Earth, had a moon. Charon. From eclipses between Pluto and Charon occurring in the 1980s, astronomers calculated that the moon was almost half the size of its parent body, so large that both objects spin around their mutual center of gravity, outside Pluto. Pluto and Charon were the first double dwarf planet combo discovered in our solar system. Using the basic physics of their orbits and the distance between them, astronomers could calculate their mass and size. Pluto was a little smaller than Earth's moon, about 1,500 miles in diameter, and had only one-tenth its mass. 